What's up YouTube? It's Nate Doggy Dog 52 I'm back again with video 3 of the day uh, So, before I get into the sneakers right here uh, I'd like to give a massive, 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 massive shout out to my big sneaker brother, my sneaker fam and friend uh, from over there in Detroit uh, Some people all know this man as Jumpman Bostic This right here came over for me uh, it's a real special little package here. I'll cover up the addresses, but this is the package that came. He sent this out of the goodness of his heart. So uh, let me open this up. Before I let everyone see what it is, I'll read the little note he said to me. Uh, dated August 15th, 2012. Uh, Nathan, I truly appreciate your true sneaker brotherhood and support from across the pond. Thanks also for pointing out this picture on eBay. It's only right that you get the original picture from 28 years ago in 1984. Your US sneaker brother, Jumpman Bostic. So this is the picture he got me right here. I did show him this picture, I found it on eBay. Uh, so this was the first time that San Diego University made it into the NCAA tournament. Uh, and this is, him, this is the man himself, Jumpman Bostic right here. Uh, so he has autographed this, this is an original picture. Uh, it's got the, the seal of authenticity right there. The hologram and everything, you know. And then there's his name there, San Diego M. Bostic. Uh, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this on camera. Uh, I'll pop it back in this wallet just not to damage it because this real means a lot to me. Uh, this is like going way above and beyond being sneaker fan, this is like true friends right here for this uh, so I'm going to point the camera down, hopefully I'll be able to pick it up uh, it's right there you can see, he's dated it the 15th uh, sorry, August 15th 2012 to Nathan uh, me 28 years ago in 1984 your sneaker brother in the US M. Bostic number 24 so uh, this means a lot to me, uh, so shout out to him and thanks for that. Uh, so I'm going to pop that back in the, in the envelope it came in just to try and, try and maintain it and keep it uh, nice because I'm probably going to keep this for life, it means a lot. Uh, and uh, the sneakers that I've got right here, these are the kind of real reason why we started talking so much. Uh, my man was really struggling, I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to cop these kicks but uh, the company I work for, Foot Asylum, we were getting them, we also shipped to the US, so uh, he was really excited. I mean, we were getting a US uh, 14, a UK 13, we were getting one pair, uh, and it was all set to go, and he was really excited. He was like, You're definitely sure I'm going to get these? And I was like, Hell yeah, you're getting these, there's no problem. Uh, and then it turned out, like at the last minute, he found out his local store in Detroit was getting it, so it was all good. But uh, because I was helping him out so much, he went the extra mile and did that just to say thanks. So, uh, what these mystery sneakers are, in case you couldn't see, um, everyone probably knows what they are now. Let you see the box right there. Uh, this is the Jordan. It's the GMP, or the gold medal packs. The Jordan Six and Seven, as you can see, Air Jordan Six and Seven, and it's the 20th anniversary of the '92 gold medal. Hence the gold medal pack. So that's it right there. Plain on the back. It's got that same thing on the side. On the top, it's got that Jumpman logo. Uh, here it is. It's the two drawers. So on top, we've got the sixes. On the bottom of the sevens, That's, that is the official like Nike logo right there, and that is the Foot Asylum logo with the price right there. That's how much they are over here in uh, Scotland. But obviously, I got my staff discount on that, so it's all good. Uh, I'll just read them out. What the boxes. It's the Air Jordan Golden Moment Pack, multi-color, multi-color. Uh, US 13, UK 12. Color code is five three five three five seven nine three five. Uh, Starting out top to bottom, it's a pull out box, put it in a little tab. So, this is the sixes I'm going to go with right here. So, this is how it comes. It's this cool little uh, dust bag you get there. So, I'll just pull that out first and let everyone see. So, it's a nice big dust bag that you can put your sneakers in and the stars and stripes with the gold jump man right there. So, that's real nice, a uh, real nice extra touch. And it's like the little lace lock off the sixes there with the gold lace. Which again, it's a super dope touch. Uh, so, there we go, that's how it comes. Just regular plain paper in these. Uh, and that's the sneakers. Again, I've got them in bags because uh, it's the icy sole. 
So there's my receipt to prove authenticity. Uh, so shout out to Foot Slam for hooking me up with these. Uh, massive love on that. I'm going to grab the sneaker right here. So uh, it was a real flurry of sexies uh, that I got. So this is my second pair of sexies and I really love these ones. People kind of weren't sure about these or but maybe didn't like the sevens so much or whatever. I love them both equally and uh, originally I thought it was just going to be white laces but they've gave you the gold and there's the extra white. So a little history about this sneaker, uh, not only did in 1992 uh, Michael Jordan win the gold medal, uh, he also, the, this kind of season before it, in 1991, he won his first uh, NBA championship. So this sneaker obviously means a lot. So uh, the Olympic 7 was obviously the sneaker that he wore at the Olympics, uh, but the 6 meant a lot to him obviously because he uh, won his first championship there and it was like a momentous occasion, it was like he's pretty much was 6 years in the league before he got there to finally win the championship. Uh, so let's start with the outsole, yeah, pretty much so the exact same as the uh, what I just shot the Olympic 60s, except it's the icy sole, red jumpman again but it's the white on the bottom. Uh, taking to the side to the outsole, we we'll see up here they've continued the icy parts on the side around the air bubble, the air bubble inside is red, I'm not sure if you'll be able to pick that up but it is red in there uh, we've got the gold hits on the midsole on the side again not many people know but that is the number two right there and uh, followed by the three there uh, so that's something a lot of people didn't know uh, but the, the Jordan 6 you know I didn't know until I watched someone's video and that's like the two and the three so it's real nice uh, so moving around to the front it's got a nice smooth leather. I think these will crease really bad if you have to rock them. If anyone has, please comment and let me know. Uh, so it's again that sort of neoprene tongue there going up and you've got that white little uh, lace cover with a gold jump man on the white lace lock with a gold jump man and you've got that, the white rubberized tongue uh, with Jordan in gold and the word air in red right there. Uh, flipping it around to the back it's got that big sturdy pull tab again, and this one's got a gold uh, sort of 3D uh, strip over it. And then the back, probably my favourite part, the gold jump man with the red air below. Uh, so that's the left side of the sneakers. So I'll get the right, and that does have the extra laces on it. So there we go. As promised, the extra white laces. But I think if I was going to rock them, I would keep the gold in. I've seen someone recently took the gold laces out of these, put the white in and put the gold laces in the Olympic sexes which I thought was a real nice touch uh, but I'll probably stick with the gold in these because I just think it looks uh, it pops real nice because there's a lot of subtle gold on, all over it and I think the white would just make it a bit too plain for my liking so that's the sexes from the pack right there I'll set them there right now now to the bottom shelf same thing again You've got that uh, Star and Stripes dust bag, exact same as before. You've got the gold jump man right there. It's the same gold laces with a white lace lock. Uh, just pull that to the side again. It's just the plain paper. And there we go. That's the uh, sevens from the pack. So I'll set them up there right now. So there we go. Uh, when I looked at these uh, yesterday or the day before when I bought these uh, finally uh, the quality on these I thought was amazing like the suede feels so nice the leather's nice and soft uh, I just think these probably are my favourite sneakers even though uh, I've got uh, like I really love sexies but I really think the quality on these and it's like the suede's so buttery soft it's, I feel like they went all out in these ones not to say that the sexies they went like didn't go so hard, I just think these ones looked uh, awesome with the mix of materials and things and the colour blocking I just think looks awesome. Uh, so, starting with the outsole, you've got that jump man right there and it's that uh, like Swiss cheese on the bottom with the triangles uh, and then gold on here and it's like a sort of off-white, like a cream colour here uh, again here and the gold up here. Bring it round to the side, you've got those mountain tops which is like a sort of cream off-white colour on the bottom with the gold above Going along, it's the same thing. At the back, uh, moving up, you've got that gold jump man right there, uh, and behind it's that buttery suede. You've got the nice leather going up around here. 
Um, and again, this is it's a similar shape to the sort of two or three there. Like, look, it's kind of kept more of the three on the side here. I mean, you could probably still get a two if you were looking for it if you went like this way, like that, you know. Uh, but anyway, continuing on, black laces in these, which I think looks awesome. I really love the black laces in them. I just think uh, all black with like subtle hints on it looks awesome. I really love this big gold pull tab right here. Then you've got the Jordan triangle, uh, the, the triangle on the back with the number 23 with the black and then the sort of off white uh, colour on the 23. You've got that Air Jordan on the tongue in the gold colour, which is real nice. Uh, and then, oh, one thing I forgot to say was on the sixes as well. I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well, but it is on the insole, is the Stars and Stripes, the same as the uh, dust bags. And also, uh, one of my favourite things about the 7 is the metal lace tips, which I don't know if you'll be able to catch. It does have the Jumpman on it, which is really nice. Uh, a little bit of, kind of history and whatever about the 7s. Uh, they wanted to try and make a lightweight performance sneaker that also hugged to your foot. So inside, it was like the kind of original in here. It's like a booty, like this part here, to try and give you the best lockdown fit they could. Bearing in mind, this technology and this sneaker will be what? Uh, 20 years old. So bearing that in mind, this is kind of, the, the inside is based off a of Hurachi sneaker. Uh, but bearing it in mind how old it is, um, the comfort in these is still really good. I mean, I've, I've found my playoff 12s have been like a little bit sore in my instep and the inside of my foot. That's probably just because I've got a real wide foot. But these I found incredibly comfortable. Like my Bordeaux 7s I beat the hell up just because they're so comfortable and I just throw them on me anything. Uh, and even people in Scotland know what they are, so like they must have done something for like Michael Jordan because like there is not many sneaker heads in Scotland. Uh, and you get surprised by the looks you get. Uh, but whenever I do break these out, I'm going to break them out in good weather because this sweat I think will get destroyed if it's uh, wet. So that's the left side of the sneaker. I'll pop that right there. I'm going to grab it right. Uh, these ones do not come with alternate laces, it is just the black. I don't see a problem with that though, I really love the black on these. But I suppose if you really wanted, you could switch them out, put the gold in, have the white in there. But I love these the way they are. Uh, just so I'm not made out to be a liar, I'll let everyone see inside the sexes so that you can see that it is the stars and stripes. Uh, so now, as my big homie sneaker fam and big brother would say, let's take it straight to the foot game. Uh, so let's do it. Here we go, this is the sixes first. It's on the side, the front view, the other side, the back. I don't let you see that easy, so uh, I'll just grab the ca camera right now. This is looking down on them, real nice. Uh, give me two secs, I'll switch them off and I'll put on the sevens. So here we go, right here. This is the sevens from the pack. Uh, what I said before, I love them both equally, scratch that, these sevens are killing them, that uh, looks so dope. Normally I'm not into like subtle sneakers, but these ones are absolutely amazing. I uh, just love the subtleness, and then when I look down I catch glimpses of that gold. Uh, I'll let everyone see down on top right now. So there we go. Got my phone, got my list, so let's go. Uh, straight off, as ever, it's my boy Horse Eddie. Uh, got a shout out to him, he's been real since day one. Uh, I've spoken to him also on his uh, mixtape, Two Rappers and a MacBook, and he's just released a new single. It uh, didn't make it on the Two Rappers and a MacBook, but it's the uh, lift off. It was off the um, Jay Z and Kanye album, Welcome, Watch the Throne. Uh, it's a real sex uh, mixtape song that, and uh, next up is Ike Bezel, the reason I do these videos. Uh, so shout out to him for that, for giving me the confidence to go and do it. Uh, next up is the Sneaker Addict, H aka DJ Dells. Uh, then it's uh, the Closet Collector, Black Santa 24 is his username on YouTube. Uh, Fran Relations, JJ Jumpman 23, JSTAR 25, my boy over there in Australia in Melbourne, Parametric 99. Uh, my boy up there in San Francisco. Uh, Dubstep Slap 415, uh, my big sneaker brother, my sneaker fam, my US sneaker brother and friend, uh, all of these things, and just uh, a real nice guy, a great guy to know and talk with. Uh, so, Jumpman Bostick, shout out to him, I salute you. 
uh, laid back 365, sticky 213, uh, nice kicks to store down in Austin, Texas. Uh, over here in the UK, D63SX5, Crazy Black Man 108. Uh, here we go, the He's the Crave Gang, the main man, Zaya X0712, uh, just for kicks 212, uh, Lady Sneaker. Uh, sneaker fan right now, damn Erica and that sugar old Katie. Uh, also, is done a recent vid with him, uh, Heart and Souls. Shout out to him, that's the Easy Crave gang, and I'm hopefully going to meet up with all these guys uh, when I go to Florida uh, next year. So, uh, still a long time away, but I'm really excited, real pumped, and real ready to go to uh, go meet these guys that I speak to regularly on uh, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all these things. Can't wait to see them. Uh, in my estimation, the king of performance reviews, uh, Nightwing2303, check his channel out if you haven't, you're stupid, why haven't you? Uh, Sneakerfiles.com, you've got to check them out, Juco's terrible, uh, bring it back over to where I'm from, the UK, it's the Game 59 uh, in London, say what you see, 666, my boy Kieran down there in London again, uh, going further south to Southampton, it's my boy Simon, the Simp Gem, Bring it back to London to my man Khan. Uh, it's no mosaic. Uh, shout out to my boy Alan from Glasgow. Uh, Logan J. Bays, Sam Colt, username's 3TVID. Uh, my boy uh, over there in New York, Eddie, uh, finest gear in my uh, Next up again, it's my man DJ Hess from up there in uh, Poland. Uh, what he received from his face to face bed is totally out of line. Totally out of order. Uh, don't let you, there's no need to speak to someone like that. Uh, it's 2012, God's sake. So uh, please be respectful, be mindful. If you don't like someone, don't watch. It's as simple as that. Uh, but we are all part of the one family, and that's the sneaker fam. Uh, anyway, moving on from that, uh, it's Dainishi Johnson, DJ Drama Five. Uh, I've not seen a vid from him in a while, but swag on here's out. I'm a boy up from up there in Seattle, Optimus P517. Uh, these two. These next two collaborate quite regularly, T Blake Raps and One Veracity, uh, shout outs to them. Flight School Shoes, uh, it's always interesting to watch the end of their vids because they usually put the outtakes from the vid they've just done, which is always fun. Uh, my boy Mr. Former Simpson, I uh, hooked him up with my Kobe 6 Barcelona's, so I'll uh, be on the lookout for his vid from that. Uh, drawing Skills, and that's the end of my shout out, shout -out list. If you like what you've seen in this vid, uh, Please do like, comment and subscribe. If you haven't checked out more of us, do that please. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing, what I'm picking up, uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's at NathanCare20. Uh, I'll put how you spell that and stuff in the description and it'll be on screen in a sec. Uh, until the next video, uh, this is Nate Doggy Dog 52 Peace.